Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a 2016 Ford Focus. I just like putting uh, wood under there. You also want to pull up on the parking brake, make sure it doesn't roll back, make sure the car is in park. So to do this job, what I would recommend, make sure you have a socket set. This, uh, to remove the bottom cover, you need a T30, uh, like a Torx uh, bit. The engine takes 5W20. Here's one of the oil filters. There are other oil filters that you could use that would do the same job. I'll put those in the description below. Uh, this one's leaking oil because I think the old gasket went bad, so we got a replacement uh, bolt, but really you just need the gasket itself. So that's here. I like to have a pair of gloves so I don't get oil all over my arms and hands and things. Uh, glasses so it doesn't get in my eyes. Uh, plenty of paper towels. Cardboard's a good idea not to get it all over your driveway. I like to have a series of wrenches in order to be able to get off the oil filters, so I have a bunch of those because I work on different vehicles. Uh, here's just an oil pan, and when we put the oil in, I'm going to need a funnel. So let's climb underneath and get that cover off. So first off, I'm going to have to take these off with the Torx bit, and uh, there's a few of these under here just until you can get this off. So. Once we get this off, we'll be able to look at the oil filter. Pull that out. And if you're wondering where those bolts are located, I had one here, one here, one here. There was one here, one here, and one here. It looks like there's others to the side, but they never replaced them the last time they put this back, so didn't need to take them out. So take your oil pan. We're gonna take our gloves and our 15 millimeter wrench. Loosen this up. So this is going to come back. Just a little bit of resistance. Ooh, it's still hot. It's wise to let your engine cool off. Let that drain out for a few minutes. So it's sufficiently drained. You might get a couple of drips and drops here and there. Uh, I'm going to move the oil pan up a little bit so you can see the oil's dripping here into the pan. Uh, might want a bigger pan. Uh, anyway, so we're going to loosen up this oil filter. If a shop did it for you, it might be a bit tight to get off, so you might not be able to get it off by hand. Normally you can use like Fram, sometimes they have extra grip and it makes it a lot easier to get off. If you don't, make sure you have an oil wrench for the filter. So we're just gonna come up here. And by first intent, I like to try to do it by my hands. Sometimes you get lucky. Doesn't look like it will. All right, I'm getting it to turn. So we're gonna take this off. There's gonna be some oil that comes out. This is why you wear gloves. Have a couple of bags around as well, just throw everything in there. Try to get all the liquid out. After you get everything drained, what you're going to do is take the new filter, put a little bit of oil around this gasket. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get off later, so the next time you change. And just rub it around the gasket. We're going to replace that oil filter with the new one. We're going to hand tighten it. And then you go about three quarters a turn. And that should be good. Alright, that's not going anywhere. 
So we have a replacement bolt here. I'm just going to wipe this off, make sure there's nothing sticking around here. So we put our new bolt in place. This is a different uh, size socket, but same principle. So with this replacement bolt, it's good and snug. That way I don't have to worry about it leaking because now it has a good gasket on it. So we're gonna refill the oil up top and then we'll make sure to check back, make sure nothing's leaking. Now, Now we need to refill the oil, so we can take the oil cap off. Use the funnel. Check your owner's manual, but uh, I'm gonna check at about three and a half liters how much this engine takes, and just try the dipstick. So I can see we're just starting to get on the dipstick. We're about four quarts in, so probably have to add the remainder of it. You're going to want to take the old oil and fill it back in a container so that you can take it back uh, to be properly disposed of at like AutoZone, Pep Boys, wherever you got your oil from. They'll actually recycle it and burn it for waste to energy. At least that way you don't pollute the environment. Bolts back up through here. Uh, it's difficult to show this part, so uh, basically anywhere there's a hole here, there should be, it looks like, eight of them. So we'll put the cover back on and, uh, and that'll be a wrap. So then, all we have to do is take the box away from the wheels, put your foot down on the brake, release the emergency brake, then we're going to start the car in reverse. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, uh, it really encourages me to make more content for this vehicle. Alright, thanks, have a great day.